radio, this Facebook ain't hear nothing. But uh, Facebook. Hey Mimi. Hey Mimi. Hopefully everybody can hear us. We about to we can hear you get now. everything on. I don't know what you did to make yours come up, but I'm always having difficulties trying to get mine. Yeah, but you through. got the messages. I don't got those yet. Okay. <laughs> <So> <laughs> see, mine just came. Mine's just a tad bit late, so hopefully mine's is up the run. Alright, so today we are talking about the approach. How to approach somebody and the push up the what is it the the, the pickup line the pickup lines Girl. that we begin. You know we've heard some of them, honey. Honey, honey. But before we get into that, we are going to try the food today. I made white sangria. Well, it's not Ooh. that white. It's a little bit pink because okay. I did some All other right. little right. well, not pink but goldish looking. I did some other things to it. That's all I'm gonna say about it. But you gotta be scared for this one. You gotta be a little bit. Scared. Oh, you're admitting it now. <laughs> this one, yeah, this one, yeah. Okay, all right. But drink it slow. All as right. I always tell you. Okay? Okay. Friday Eve. Friday Eve. That's so good. That is good. That's what scares me. <laughs> all right, so tonight we are going to preview. This is new restaurant around me. Y'all know how I love seafood. It's called the Crazy Craig. So they have like fried shrimp, um, boiled or boiled shrimp. Um, we got what's known as a fried shrimp basket. Um, I'm looking forward to trying. It. I've been snacking on the fries. I have too. Oh, they, these are supposed to be seasoned fries. And also we have um, some of their uh, wings. So. Okay. Let's dig in. They right. gave us a little cocktail sauce. Yeah, right. It's called the Crazy Crab again. This is at um, 5000 North Crescent, Crescent Boulevard. So I'm, I'm going to bring it on here. Bring it on here. Well, it looked like the shrimp have that plank old stuff on it. Okay, it let me just say this. Uh, uh, upon first look, these look like the shrimp that, um, I don't know if a lot of people, I'm telling my age with this right here. Seafood Shannon used to give out. Um, or... Um, <laughs> Like basically it's just basic shrimp that you would find like in Sam's or PJ's, the frozen ones that you can unthaw and cook yourself. That's what they look like. Uh oh. Yeah. So but it looks like they got the panko what is it? Is it the panko panko stuff on it, but this is it's just basic. It's not nothing where it's really anything to jump up and down. Are y'all seeing your comments? Just ask. Mm hmm Thank you. Thank you, Salima. Thank you, crazy crap. <laughs> That's all. 
It's all right. Anyway, don't put the mind in that. Try it yourself. Just because. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can try it yourself. It might be somewhere that you can go after you've been out. Mm -hmm. Well, it ain't nowhere to go right now, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or one of those late night snack things. Y'all didn't finish the chicken. Y'all didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was only taking one bite. Just one bite on camera. Just one bite is all that's needed on camera. No, we're not going to get right back after the show. Yeah. Yep. Thank you, though. Okay. So, <laughs> we're going to start this off with pickup lines. Girl. Um, some that we found online. And the well, reason. Not just online, but these are some. Some of the ones I have in mind are some that were used on me. Okay. The reason that we. This is our topic is because over the weekend. I was out at Target. I had on a form fitting dress and I was minding my own business. <laughs> Next thing I knew, I hear some man go, Somebody said thick. I was like, Thick girl, you are thick. God damn, you thick. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I wanted, and I was by myself, so you can't. You gotta think of safety first. And I wanted to say, and I'm about to take a shot. Did somebody say asshole? <laughs> God damn you asshole! Like I don't know I'm thick. <laughs> I'm not just wanna hear that. Don't nobody wanna hear that. And if that was a pickup line and he was good looking, you lost. So I don't know if that was his way of giving a pick line. You are an asshole. <laughs> now, although men have a whole lot of different pickup lines, I have to say the smoothest pickup thing that somebody ever did to me. At first, before I even knew what was happening, mm -hmm. this is what they did. It was like, yeah, my dad is sick. And I was like, for real? Because this is somebody that I know, and I was in Shrimpies, which is a neighborhood, uh, used to be a neighborhood bar in Westlake mm -hmm. Lane. I was like, for real? It was like, yeah. A lot of people say, man, look, I'm like, what you mean? Let me show you on your phone. You got Facebook? And I was like, yeah. So then I, I put it out. I, I logged myself out. He logged in. He was like, oh, okay. This is my dad. And he showed me. And I was like, oh. And he was like, all right, I just sent you a friend request. Go ahead and accept that right there. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> That's like good. You, that like then decent. I started thinking. I was like, you dummy. His dad probably ain't sick. <laughs> <laughs> well, my cousin just experienced one that I thought was kind of cute. You know, during this whole COVID thing, everybody is wearing masks and everything. So he was like, take your mask off so I can see what my future looks like. Mm. Ain't that kind of cute? It's no. <laughs> <laughs> a little corny, but cute. Corny, but cute. <laughs> so here's another corny one that I found. Are you a parking ticket because you, you've got fine written all over you? Uh, uh, Alright, um <laughs> This is one that I heard while it, This is one that I heard from You couldn't really expect too much Because this was like a Older vanilla sure. gentleman So I think that he really did think he was doing something mm -hmm. But I was with my um, babies He was an older what? Vanilla, vanilla gentleman What that got to do with it? Because what you hear the lie This is what he said to me <laughs> Um uh, for, he goes, uh, so we in Disneyland, um, <laughs> and this is supposed to be the happiest place on earth, but it's, it didn't become happy until I was standing next to you. He was trying to be smooth. That was an old head, right? Mm -hmm. uh, he was trying to be smooth. Yeah, he was trying. Mm -hmm. um, did you have Lucky Charms for breakfast? Because you look magically delicious. <laughs> Aside from, being, listen, aside from being, listen, aside from being, hold on, wait, 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 what's yours? I used this line for 20, okay, a little over 10 years. <laughs> he don't want to give up all this. Hey, thing. shorty, hey, sweetheart, whatever I was felt, whatever she felt to me, hey, queen, hey, sister, whatever she drew, whatever words she drew, I would say, I could do that for you. That was it. I could do that for you. She go and ask you what? 
you just gotta come up with the if next. She, if she's curious. Exactly, and if she not, <laughs> she may keep walking. Yeah, she might, but I mean, what was your reaction? Now I want to know. Now that I'm older, how do that make you feel when a man say that? You know what that? I used to do when people used to give me because I would get young bucks. They would stop. I know, but I'm about to tell you what I used to do when people gave me forty uh, lines. I used to do deer and headlights, which means you you say a corny line. So to was me. that corny? Well, if I just didn't want to talk to you, then I'd just be like this. Y'all I look at you like question. this for a while. I mean, and then I would turn my head. If I'm interested, I'm going to be like... Well, I guess if you... you 15, 16, it don't matter. It's kind of cool. 15 and 16, that's cute. I haven't used it since I was probably over 30. So okay, I can't okay. say it's that old. Now, this is my uh, next one. They blush me up. Aside from being <laughs> sexy, what do you do for a living? That's grown people. Oh, my gosh. That's a grown bullshit. <laughs> I'm killing you, Salima. I'm sorry. <laughs> And Salima said that Kay said the mask one was nice. Thank you. <laughs> oh, and she said, what about smelling your hair? Oh, oh God. God. She said that because somebody did that to me. They somebody tried to smell your hair. No, that don't, they tried to smell my hair. They did smell my hair. And I didn't know what was going on. He was like, oh, my God, it just smells so lovely. Mm. Mm -hmm. I've had, no, that wasn't even the first one. If you remember, when me and you took a trip to Maryland, it was somebody else that was smelling my hair and was saying how good it smelled. And I was like, oh, that ain't nothing but some Pantene. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, smelling the hair, yeah. Okay. And so, that's kind of bold, too, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, here's another one. Your body is made up of 70% water, and I'm thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> to be smooth even though there aren't any stars out tonight you're still shining like one how about this <laughs> hello Cupid called he wants to tell you that he needs my heart back <laughs> that's a Darren Headlights look <laughs> I agree so this one is what I want these next ones that I'm going to give are what I consider terrible Hey, Dawny! Thank you. Thank you. She said we looking good. Hey, hey! Thank you, Dawny. All right. Thank so, you, Dawny. hold on. I thought the, this one was terrible. Do you work at Subway? Cause you just gave me a foot long. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> so was your mother a beaver? Go. Cause damn. Are those space pants? This one, this one right here, is a killer because I could see somebody actually, possibly saying it, this to me, and I might have to fight them. Uh oh. <laughs> Are those space pants? Because your ass is out of control. Mm. Are you serious? Out of you this be happy. Out of He's control. Out of control. Instead of out of this world, I'm doing my shot because I know I, I need. To. Where's your glass? I didn't cause. You still gotta do it. <laughs> no, it's a joint team effort. <laughs> How's she gonna make me do a shot? I've done it with you. I know you have. Don't do that. This you is a joint team effort. So, when it's a full shot. Uh uh. I cussed twice. Alright. <laughs> so, did you have any other ones that you wanted to share? Um, let me see. Did the sun come out or did you just smile at me? Yes, because I'm sunshine. And I was wondering if you had an extra heart. Mine's was just stolen. Oh. Um, Kay said that the subway one is harassment. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, too. <laughs> That's true. They're all harassing. <laughs> Come on, let's do the shot, and then we can get on to our topic. Excuse me, if your left leg was Thanksgiving and your right leg was Christmas, you think I could spend some time between the holidays? <laughs> Harassment. And you don't have to worry about getting pregnant. Mm -hmm. No, I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that was strong. Okay. So, I think we want to approach the <laughs> one for women. Mm -hmm. How a one woman can approach a guy. Because ladies, sometimes you have to go after what you want. 
So we're doing the, we're the women trying. one first? Yes, let's do the women one first. You have to go after sometimes what you want. And it's okay because this is a, a new season in your life <laughs> to try. Back in the day, you know, we let everybody come to us. Sometimes just go for what you want. How about that? There's nothing wrong with that. If you don't get that from over here. Appetize. Bum's this? feet. Bumberry. Bum's feet. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, I think I'm Right. So don't be scared. Don't be afraid of rejection because this is stuff that men have gone through for years. So, look. Mm -hmm. Don't let them know that you, Sonny Shannon, is taking order for Bumberry Bum Feet. Uh, let them know that Bum Feet. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Do Sonny <laughs> Shan wants you to know that he's taking orders for uh, Bums, Barry, Bums feet? I might have to sample product before I can endorse it. Yeah. <laughs> and not to mention, I, um, <laughs> let me know, because I, I need some, um, I need to place an order on another note for not for no Bums feet, just to make some cupcakes. Okay. All right, so, again, ladies, back in the day, we were approached by the men. We didn't do a lot of the approaching, but now we are 40 plus and newly single. Sometimes the rules change and I think that you should not be afraid to approach something that you might be interested in. And don't be scared fellas. The women, some women don't know some of y'all men don't know they outnumber us 20 to 1. And I'm saying that to say out of desperation, it's not as hard as it used to be. Okay. Women are more accepting. They're more open. They know that the grass is not greener. They know that you don't say don't think that with every woman though because some women still think they're still shallow and that's okay it's not shallow still still shallow there, so but also you know i'm just not going to deal with any bs because there's too many batteries and toys so it is what it is yeah but that gets now, i don't want to put steve hard. harvey on everybody but just because she needs you don't mean she wants you <laughs> but it's nice to be needed and wanted where you going mr oh, producer bumper okay. anyway so, if you're out at dinner by yourself or even with your girls, one thing you can do to break the ice with someone is, can I pour out the salt off your table? Make sure you don't have no salt or whatever you're asking for on your table. Or just hide it. Just say, can I borrow your salt? But make it fun. Don't just be all like that. Be like, partner, let me holla at you. Let me get that salt right there, right quick. I need this for my steak and stuff. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> hey Dorothy. <laughs> so people said don't sleep on the young ones. I don't know, but I, mean, I get nervous about that sometimes. I might have a heart attack somewhere in there. Uh oh. <laughs> so don't sleep on the young ones. Okay. So reach and ask for the salt. And then once you ask for the salt and he gives you that or whatever it is that you ask for from his table. Then start a conversation. First, check him out. You know, see what he working with. Why he bending over? And see what he eating. And reaching across. Maybe when he reach, he might his muscles might flex a little bit. And you'd be like, "Is that good?" <laughs> <laughs> and I'm saying that because I do stuff like that, and it's not even really the holler. I'm just nosy, and I wanna. I'm a foodie, so I need to know what are you eating. What, what is that eat? slapped in? Is that gravy? I've like, done that though. I yeah. ask people, "What you what you got? You know, yeah. what you got on up over there?" And then, to your point, ask what he's drinking. Um, and it also suggests that mm -hmm. if you really want to meet somebody, that you should sit at the bar. Don't sit at the table away from all the action. Sit at the bar, you know, sit somewhere where you can be seen and put yourself out there. You never know. I agree, because at the bar, that leaves, I think, a lot of stuff open where yes. somebody else come over and talk to you. Yep. Um, hi, Cynthia. I see that you joined. Hi, Cynthia. Okay. Pretend like you don't know him. No, pretend like you know him. So basically, you say, well, you might see him and you be like, don't you go to my gym? That's a little crazy to me. Run around stalking him like darn body. <laughs> <laughs> you're not really stalking him. Like if he's at the bar and you're at the bar and you look at him and you be like, I want to talk to him. I say that because that I can why? do it. I'm gonna act like I know him or we've been at the same places. People something. have done that to me, and then I'm, I'm like instantly turned off, and I'm saying to myself, you know, you don't blank on me out of that BS. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> She's so beaten. <laughs> <laughs> Brush by him on the way to the bathroom. 
Not right now. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I've done that, especially in the crowded bar, because some, you I'm can't a, help I'm it. like shoulders sometimes, and I have Uh-oh. to see how your shoulders feel as I walk so by. So you be all touching. And be like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but even back in the day, I used to do it. I'd be like, hmm, come, here, come here for a second. And I'd be like, oh my God, listen to the sunshine being a little burning. <laughs> <laughs> Selena said you asked for people's chicken oh, girl, really? I did No but that wasn't flirting That's because I really wanted your goddamn chicken <laughs> Like I don't need to taste it Like I am such a wing kind of sword That when I see like different sauces Like I'm intrigued Okay like what is that what, like, the, You remember how when we was there And I just feel like I was in heaven And I'm so sorry I don't have no more uh-uh. When we was at the um, The pub and they used to have that All those limes and oh, mangoes yeah. and things yeah. Like when it's different flavors, like wings, all kinds of wings is my favorite food. So yeah, I would ask you a chicken in a minute. Oh, Let me that. taste that. What kind is that? Let me taste that. Oh, and that wasn't even flirting. That was just because I'm greedy. But I'm admitting it. Yeah. yeah. So yes, I touched on people's shoulders and chest. You know, and I might even walk by you and do like this, so I can just see, you know, what's going on on the back or something. Oh my gosh! Sorry, it's the truth. Okay. Stay centrally located. So at the but bar. I mean, at the, at okay, the bar. Okay. When you're sitting at the bar, you stay centrally centrally located. Don't like if you're with a group of friends, don't sit in the middle of your friends. Sit on the end so that if somebody is interested in you, they can approach you. Okay. You know, stay centrally. I didn't really thought located. about that. Okay. Um and I me, I'm sorry, I don't like sitting with my back to everybody. I gotta sit on the ends of the bar. So I can see everything that's going on around the I don't care. So um, that's just me. Let me buy the wings. So Lima said, Shahid said, y'all are not six feet apart. What? <laughs> you guys supposed to be watching this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ass. The score of the game. Well, that's a natural thing you do if you're a girl that's in the football. Or basketball or whatever sport yeah. you might be on at a sports bar. Yeah. I love because sports bars. If I'm going to a sports bar and I'm watching football, y'all going to know. But you know what? That's because we are football girls. But I guess there's some girls that aren't. I don't see how you cannot be into football. I mean, why not though? I don't understand. Because there's sometimes some women I don't think understand the game. Oh, so and they don't want they don't want to learn it. Like there are some women who are just not in the sports spirit. I guess I just don't understand it. But that's okay. how you can, ladies. Get into the game that is, yeah. Some men, you know, if you're into the sports, they might like that and be genuinely into it. Don't be into it just because, like, because I watch football even if I'm home by myself. I do too, especially (laughs) with one of my teams. Exactly. You you got teams? I got a couple. I like, I really do. Of course, Eagles is my number one team, but you know that I also do like Pittsburgh. So, oh, that's me too. Okay, yeah. Same page with that. So, but if Pittsburgh is playing the Eagles, Eagles. I gotta go for the Eagles. Me too. I'm sorry, y'all. Me too. I love y'all, but mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. Talk to his friends first. This could backfire though. I know. Cause you might find that you like the friend hey. more than you like the person that you started talk- <laughs> wanted to talk to. So this, or he might, the person that you wanted to talk to might say, "Well, she's not interested in me," and go on somewhere I agree. else. Yeah. So this could backfire, but it's a cute idea. Girl, this is so good. <laughs> it is good. Mm-hmm. And this is like some white sangria. That's white sangria. Mm. I'll tell you later what I added to it. This is some beef slops. Nope. <laughs> heat Something that a little bit stronger. <laughs> <laughs> Simply smile and say hello. But for me. You can simply smile and say hello, but if you go, you walk by me, they might just take that as you just saying hi, and not even I go you further get a, with you. You gotta do the what did Tyra say? The smiles and you gotta do the eyes. <laughs> hey, Therese, how you doing? Thank and you for joining. Some people like a little hubba hubba. Hubba hubba smile. Mm-hmm. I don't even know how to do. You that. do it like this. Look. Do a sound of shame, you do it like this, look. Oh, hi, Damon. Thank you for joining. <laughs> See a liquor kicking in. Shut up. <laughs> I don't do hubba hubba when the liquor not there. Yes, mm-hmm. I do. 
She don't do the hubba hubba. I always do. She said hubba hubba. Like, so do when you walk by, you go. You, you walk by. If you, you want to say hi. Listen, you don't do the hubba hubba out loud. You just do it like this. Give him the eyes. But do you wave at the same time? Just, my, just do the eye thing. <laughs> just do the eye thing. That's sexy. <laughs> just do the eye thing. You are so crazy. <laughs> hubba hubba. And then there's some other things that I've done on this list when you go down. Okay. So we we'll, go. we'll Compl- Wait a minute. Okay, compliment him. Then ask a question to start the conversation. But I compliment people all the time, men and women. So just because I compliment you don't mean that I'm interested. Yeah, Although that's a misconception. I, unless I see, it, the only compliment that you might get that you might know I'm interested in you is if I walk past you and do that rub thing, uh-uh. I might smell you and I might go, damn, you smell good. good. What you got on? I'm not being a pervert. Oh my goodness, the allergies are acting up now. Okay. So, the next one. You don't do that? You don't give compliments? Does she compliment? I'm going to ask him about it. What did he say? Did she compliment what? I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all mic was messing up outside. Oh. When you uh meet just the music first. It's gonna stop. Uh-uh. It's your theme music. See she can't resist. Yeah, but now we're talking and they're gonna hear us. Okay. They are gonna hear you Okay, so she said, Did I compliment you beforehand? Was it like I did. I oh my god, you're my own personal comment. Oh, I didn't no. say that. Yeah, she compliment me. What'd she say? I could brag then, yeah. I was getting a lot of compliments. She was the only one with enough uh she had enough heart to step up. Oh, she was Lord. up on it. Yo, yeah, I can brag. No, <laughs> no, yeah, she complimented me. I complimented her first, though. Don't let oh, her dude. tell y'all. Don't be trying more. to backtrack. I was up on it, just like. Uh, I complimented first. Hi, Troy. Thank you for joining. Okay. So she complimented you first. Yes, I did. You're sticking to the story, and he's letting you stick to it. So it must be because true. he knows true. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Connect with him on a so on social media. Okay, but here's the thing. That's stalking. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Don't be all crazy going through. Just because you see me out somewhere, yeah, and we might talk, and you might get my first name. Don't go look up every sunshine on Facebook. That's a little scary. Selena says she was. What stalk she was? You was? No, she was. She was what? Stalking? No, somebody stalked her. Oh, gosh. I think she was talking about the fact that she was all up on your little comment over there. Oh, I was. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ask him a question. Ask him a question and then genuinely listen to his response. Who doesn't do Some people don't, because you go into like, oh my god, I can't believe he's talking to me. <laughs> no, yep. uh, what did you say? <laughs> oh my goodness, yes. I see your shoulder. <laughs> Why the shoulders had to be in there? <laughs> so you can ask him a crazy question. Not really a qu- crazy question, but you can say, what would it take? What would you take if your house, what would be the first thing you take out of your house if it caught on fire? Like if you had to go in and you had to grab one thing, what item would you take? That could be a nice conversation starter. Oh, what flavor wings you got? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Burn this dag on food. <laughs> I don't know. I, you start asking me about my house burning up and all. I'm going to think you're crazy. No, that's just like a conversation starter. Oh. Are you thinking about burning if you my could, house? Alright, so her question would be if you were on death row and you had your last meal choice, what would it be? Okay, I can see the answer <laughs> like that. That, that would be your, her question. What's your favorite food? What would you want as your last meal yes. before you get the injection? Yes. That sounds interesting. Because <laughs> then you know what? You would be able to find out that person's favorite food. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely would ask something like that. that. And then you genuinely listen. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, you want to listen to that answer. I am. Order him a drink. Oh, I know somebody that has done that before. I've done that before. Was it me? No, I was thinking about somebody else oh, okay. in the past. I've done it before. 
Mm-hmm. Why not? Because mm-hmm. you might get the favor of the time. <laughs> Ask a friend to introduce you. I've done that for people. Be like, girl, they be like, girl, he is so fine. I'm like, yes, he is. You want me to introduce you to him? <laughs> Do you know him? No, I don't know him, but I'll find out for you. Come on, let's go. <laughs> done it many a time. Would still do it. Make a face at him. I didn't like that one. I've done that though. That's when I was someone I've done that. What did you do? Can I, I see just, the face? It was just like a little face, like <laughs> <laughs> like nothing, like really out of the way. As a matter of fact, I've I've done it to did it to you so much. <laughs> No, I'm not doing that. Listen, anymore. I don't even think he knew what was happening. This is how he looked at me. <laughs> <laughs> What the, what the world is going on? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But he got his attention. Beckon him with your finger. Have you done that before? I think so. I haven't done it in my recent life. Okay. My before married life, I'm sure I did. Okay. Like, <laughs> and then he go. And then the other person that might be standing next to him go, and he'll be like, no, nah, nice. <laughs> Dance by yourself. I've done this before if, when I was just trying to groove by myself. Girl, yeah, yeah, but why does somebody always come up and start dancing with you, though? Yeah, but I, that might turn somebody off. They might see me dancing and get my groove on, and they might be like, "This child is in her own world." That is, they do that, but somebody will still come up and start dancing with you, even when you're in your own groove. <laughs> but in the end, ladies. Grab, take, pick up your big girl panties and pull them on. Put them on. Up. Put them on. Put them on. And take the time to go after what you want. Don't be afraid to, of being rejected. Men have been re- been rejected for years mm-hmm. by you, and they keep coming back. And they come back and they keep trying. So reach on out. Like I said, reach on down. Pull them all the way up and go after what you want. This is really tasty. You want some more? I do. Can I get a refill? <laughs> but you were afraid of it, right? I was. You have to be really careful because sometimes sunshine's drinks mm-hmm. be a little extra. No, don't listen. No, listen. Don't listen. And I be scared. <laughs> but this is nice and smooth. I don't know how I'm going to feel it in a few hours, but this She's is going to feel it. Oh gosh. This is like nice and smooth. <laughs> Okay, so now, men, we come to you. Uh Uh-oh. So, how to successfully approach a beautiful woman. Y'all may need some help. Especially if you are going thick. Somebody said thick. Or, you know the most rudest uh, pickup line? I forgot to add this one that I had. This is when I was at my um, first alma mater college, which is Lincoln. And I was walking past, walking back to my dorm room, all happy, just got finished studying at the library. Mm-hmm. And I never forget, there was this guy who held his head out the window and was all like, Touch some chocolate! Touch some chocolate! And you know, at first it scared the crap out of me because their campus is so dark. And I'm walking back and I start, I jumped, I was like, oh, shit. Like, I didn't even know nobody saw me walking about here. But, but that caused me sexual trauma. Called me sexual chocolate in the dark. That wasn't a way to approach. Not at all. All right. So the first one is be chill. Resist the urge to approach with a corny gimmick or pickup line. Some of the corny lines are cute though, like the heart ones. You stole my heart and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. I don't know. Sometimes Hate I think. The name. It can, it can break the ice, I think. A little cute corniness. It could be a little cute corniness. I had somebody approach me rec- recently. And I was at a party. And all he did was walk over and had his back to me and put his hand down and grab my hand so I could dance with him. I was, was like, kinda cute, that was kind of cute. But you know me. When he went to pull, I went to pull. I'm like, I gotta see what you look like first. I'm not oh, gonna you, get on the dance you. floor with any old body. Sorry. But did you dance with him? I did dance with him. 
That means that you must have been handsome. I had a good time. Okay. Anyway, the next one is approach women who have time to talk to you. What do you mean by that? Because you have to approach to see if they have time to talk to you. But if they are like on their phone, maybe responding to messages, they might be sitting in Starbucks, minding their own business, working on work or something like that, then make sure that they are doing and everything and in that headspace. space. Don't yeah. just walk up to them and start trying to talk. Hey, Betta, thank you for joining. So, come on, take your time. Look for that perfect opportunity, open window, and then jump on it. Yeah. She just may not be in that headspace at that time. Might not be. Keep it low stakes. Okay. <laughs> what did I write? Intense, te intense come-ons are more creepy than flattering ones. That's so true. So, if you've seen press, <laughs> I'm going to be like, mm -mm. Yeah, that makes me put up my, you know, my spidey senses start tingling. <laughs> right now. Don't ask for her phone number right away. Women aren't comfortable giving out that much info right away. Just ask her, may I maybe be your Facebook friend? The phone number sometimes, you really have to ease into that or you can even offer yours. Yeah. Okay. I get nervous because some people will be like, can I have your number? And then like, put, dial my number right here. And then that way I'm going to have your number. Then that do. way I know you're not giving me a fake number. Because I used to get up, give out the... 777 back in the day. Darn, that was a song. Y'all ain't know that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Back in the day, I was like, yep, that's my number. 215. I did the same thing though with the 8675309. So. Oh, yeah, I did that one too. Yeah. Yeah. Or the 555 <laughs> <laughs> What was that information? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Like, I think that's why they start saying, information. let me dial it right now, so they would know that she wasn't telling the story. Yeah. But that's, just offer yours, because that's, to me, when you keep on asking for a number, you're coming on too strong, just somebody didn't offer it to you. Exactly. The next, oh, do the walk away. This is another thing that they say. So, hey, you seem really cool. If you'd like a drink later, I'll be sitting by the bar. And then you mm. walk away. I like that. I actually like that because now you're putting it on her. Yeah. To decide if she wants to spend time with you. And it's not so much pressure. There's not a lot of pressure at all. Who knows? She might walk by by you afterwards and say, I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to come over, but thank you for the offer. <laughs> Perhaps I may, may see you here another day. Yeah, sure. But she's interested. Come to terms with getting rejected. <laughs> and I say that with an attitude. Come because to terms with getting rejected. Some brothers really don't take rejection well. <sighs> no. Because then afterwards, then after you after you get rejected, then why is the girl all kind of pictures and stuff? Exactly. You could really? Well, we're not going to do a shot right now. Because you know, I was telling the truth here. Yeah. But that's the truth. Yeah. It, Oh, I'm a bitch now, though, but you were just trying to talk to me, though. But because I won't talk to you, I'm a bitch. What? Never mind that you are thick in the head, not thick down. I'm going to be a happy bitch, and I'm going to sit here and drink and eat the twins. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dina, how are you? Thank you for joining. Hi, Dina. <laughs> and then the last one is respect her time. Don't try to monopoli monopolize her time if she's out with her friends. Yeah, with the constant calling. Or no, 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 not that. That's not what it was. It's like if you met him and you out with your girl, oh. and he did, maybe he might have a dance. Y'all might dance and groove or whatever. Then he wanna stick with then you he all still night. Then he still wanna stay. Oh, because we real time. Yeah. yeah. Or he might came over and start talking to you, and then he don't stop talking. Because we can take up a talking another time when it's just me and you. But right now I'm out with my girls, and I'm having fun. Please don't do that. Yeah. Because. That is a reason why a lot of women won't dance with you. And you know something to me? Or get a, a drink from me. That's a sign. Yeah, because then you got to hang around all that darn night. What about your business? Exactly. Yeah, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. So, 
<clears throat> that is all that we have on the topic. Mm -hmm. I think that it was very interesting. I hope everybody learned something from it. And if you have any comments, please, 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 please bring them in. Feel free to bring them in. Because I was expecting to hear some men say some stuff I tonight. Too. I, wanted this to topic. Hear I wanted, I wanted to hear, to hear to like, you know, maybe they had some women approach them and they could have gave us some corny lines that a woman had said to them. Like, <laughs> you know? Because <laughs> one thing, one corny line came to me that I would probably say to a man Are those real muscles? Are you used to lifting a lot of weight? Come here, let me see something. Pick me up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what else I did too? This is what I did to do, son of Shannon. I actually took his phone and put my phone number in. I said, let me see your phone. So I did a phone thing. I didn't even think about that. You did that? I did that. You repeated what was done to you, almost. Um, that, that was funny me because I was already getting signs that we both were zigging each other. So, and you know that was my comment. You would have known already before that meeting even happened. So, I'm not saying nothing. But what was, I have to admit though, what was done to me was that was really smooth with that, you know, saying that your dad was sick at home and I was, I was, I, you had brought me in. But then, after the whole, yeah, accept that right there, I just kind of sent you a phone call. So I was like, wait, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> so yeah, I guess I did kind of use it. Thank but in know. the end, men, although we know that you have gone through rejection from women and all that, um, Still, keep trying. You never know what can happen. What can happen? There is like, like Coco always says, there's a lid for every pot. Yes, Lord. And just keep looking for that pot, and you never know. Troy said, "I joined to do this. I need to do this. I need to have this conversation." Troy, since you are back on, we can pose this question to you. Yeah, give us some insight, please. I would like some insight. Have any women ever approached you with corny pickup lines? Have they ever come on to you at restaurants? Like, how would you take on, or how would you feel about a woman coming on to you out in public? We'll wait and see what you say. And this is what I want to propose to you. What if somebody comes on to you and you know it's just not your type or you're just not attracted to them? What do you do, Sunshine? I try to be honest <laughs> without hurting their feelings. Um, because it, you, I think that a lot of times I don't mind having people as friends, but I don't want to just be like, oh yeah, I'm interested in you and I might not really be interested. Sometimes you got to get to know that person mm -hmm. and you might find that you do like them. But, um, I was told the other day that a lot of times I'm not honest <laughs> oh God. because I know that. Oh, look at what the producer said. Because I know that, you know, I don't want to hurt people's feelings. <laughs> really, Mr. Producer? Exactly. Really? But okay. So, I mean, I'm a softer sometimes. What about you? No, I'm being honest. I, I, you know, I, I don't think that, I would just be honest. We're not going, because I've already been through it before. And, you know, yeah, I'm not going to let you get far, but mm -hmm. I'm also not going to be mean to you. I'm not going to I'm not going to be mean. I'm just, just going to go out to dinner with you and let you spend money on me and do stuff like that. Now, I used to do stuff like that, but no. It's a live for every pot. And you got to live for this pot. So. That's it? That's it. And then you do deer and headlights. But no, <laughs> she would go out to dinner with them. I did used to do that and eat. But see, me, one thing that I do that's not, what? You see what he said? He said, hey, we're going to make you start doing shots. Really? Yeah, exactly, Mr. Producer. What the, what in the world? That's because he don't want to come in here because he done got caught with Mary. Yeah. <laughs> but he going to bring himself in here. So Troy says, I'm fine with that. Have humps, have, have how some close friends today from that situation where you, you just weren't interested and then they became friends yeah and the pickup but were you okay with the pickup lines because this way this in this day and age women do definitely do pickup lines because some of them are very forceful they are very forceful I think of them, for those women I look think about Nikki Parker yeah. and I, I think it's it, you, it, there's a fine line between being 
you know, I'm going to go and I'm going to be a little aggressive and say hi and still keep it cute and then it's just too much. Yeah. And, and you know, now that I'm single again, I have approached people that I do like, but it's very far and few between. Because I do get nervous mm-hmm. with that. And you get nervous about the rejection because sometimes people just be like, you really single? You really single? Yeah, I'm really single. They don't believe me. So, yeah. but if I'm not interested, I will tell this sometimes. What, and say you are? You know, I just be like, mm, okay. You got that. I ain't kissing on my ass, no stank ass, bro. <laughs> no, I don't kiss them. Mm-hmm. No, I just be like, if or you nobody know, else I would look like a poop of Okay, yeah, that's what you do. <laughs> I think that as women, I don't care if we outnumber the men, we still have to be selective. And if it's somebody that you are not attracted to, do not make yourself suffer. Not go at through all. that. No. Not at all. And I'm not doing that because I want to live out the rest of my days. However many days it's God has to be on this earth happy with somebody I can look at in the morning. In the morning. Not necessarily does he need to breathe on me. <laughs> 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 now he don't breathe on you. Well, that's only if his breath is smoke. I don't it's, even need that. I told he, somebody today that I was like, I don't even know if I could be in the bed with anybody anymore. Really? Because I've been sleeping by myself for so long. Oh, uh-huh. like I don't, I don't see that. But mm-hmm. you never know. Because I'm like this now, stretched out. <laughs> I might be too wild. <laughs> so. Troy says, women come up with some amazing lines. Can you share some with us, please, Troy? Yes. We want to hear. hear. We want to hear. We want to hear. Let us know. <laughs> please. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm, now I'm so used to it. I'll be like, and if I get a king size bed, it's over. It's you over. can always stretch out on him. He won't know. Put a leg or arm or something on him. He's going to be sleeping. I do it all the time. Yes. But do I want somebody to put a leg or arm on me? Mm-hmm. That's just awful. <laughs> That's um, awful? Yes. Okay. <laughs> but it's okay for you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We'll see. So, Troy, please share those darn lines. We want to hear. Mr. Producer's talking about Troy. I sure do agree. He agrees with Troy. What? I agree, Troy. They sure do. Okay. Whatever. Somebody still sending you pickup lines? It better not be. (laughs) (laughs) He don't want a swift kick. (laughs) Salima says, I just send a drink. She do do that. That's what I was talking about. Okay. And and I think that's the sexiest thing, but she do do that. I like sending them. I even like the way she sends a drink. She be like, that's how she do it. I'd be like, oh, shit, look at this sexy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like doing that because they are, I think that men are always giving the drinks. Mm-hmm. So sometimes you just be like, excuse me. You have to, sometimes you might need to make sure that your pockets is right. Because some <laughs> men, they drink that, Expensive what is it? Shit. Yeah, the mm-hmm. blue label or whatever that one is. Mm-hmm. And you be like, how much was it shot? <laughs> Or you'd be like this, come here, can I, let me have you for a second. What are you drinking? That's what you said. What are you drinking? Excuse me. What is he drinking? Over there, you know that one right there to keep it with the nice shoulder. Oh, can you send one on me, please? So I guess that for a juice and a shan, I would just send some bums for you. No, for juice and a shan, you need to be at the distillery where they have everybody <laughs> sitting around smoking. <laughs> yes. Everybody like this to the side, back and forth listening to the music. <laughs> and you like, I don't know what he's smoking. Can you see him what he's there smoking? you go. Go out to Colorado or, or uh, what's the California someplace. Yeah, where they have those bars. Like, you already know I want to have one of those when they allow it to be that way. Yeah. Do you really? Yes. A smoking one? Yes. Yes, it's nice smoking one where everybody can just go come in, relax, and all that. Now, let me ask you this. When y'all at the um, bar, did y'all used to do Ruka? Mm-hmm. Okay. There are some bars that do it. It draws in. Our crowd was more of a mature crowd. Mm-hmm. Ruka's draw in a younger crowd. 
Okay. He yeah, didn't know that, so. He said, I can't even remember any offhand because they caught him off guard. I'm sure it did. Like, sometimes they be so think, surprised yeah, when it happened. I think that men do get surprised when it happens because they're like, this woman just, what did she just say to me? I know. So that's understandable. All right, so before before I get the, the, the final, quote, the quote, because we still have nine minutes. And I, <laughs> I don't want to be told off by the producer. How are you going to tell us off when he was having technical difficulties? So my quote that I am going to give now. Uh oh, get a quote, get a quote, girl. Fear keeps you standing in one spot alone. Courage allows you to find someone to walk with. Mm. Written by Sunshine. I like that. You wrote that yourself. Yes, that's your shit. Your own shit. Your own personal shit. And you still cursing. You about to get a shot. Mm. Is the show about to end? Yeah, but you just said like shit, bitch, all that. (laughs) Like, bitch I don't know how many times. Bitch is not a curse word. Mm. What is it? Female dog. It's a curse word. Mm. It's a curse word. Listen, how is y'all going to keep me, making me drink this? Because this is strong. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what this is. What is it? Okay, so. <laughs> how about we look at it as my pre-birthday shot? Hey. Cause where we gonna be going at? We going to the beach next. To week. the beach. Hey, Verna. Mm. So that was my pre-birthday kitty shot because she cursed. See, and here you come, come. So next week we are hoping to be at a location. We are working with someone right now. And we may be at a location celebrating my birthday Woo-hoo! and having a party at the same time. Thank you, Troy. So we shall see. We're going to come back on Thursday. We're going to be glistening and shining because we're going to be sitting out. Well, I don't know about this one, but I'm going to be on the beach. I on fall Wednesday out and see you so I have on my uh, beach umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> Is it an orange light on your computer on? Yes. Alright, when you're done, you hit the arm light. Whenever y'all done. When we're done, we hit the arms light. You hit the arms light. Okay. So, that is our show for tonight. We are only ending it maybe almost five minutes later. I mean, five and minutes And I just wanted to, to tell our fans at the uh, 45th Street Pub, because I was happy to see us there last week. We'll be back soon, but it was just a couple too many flies. <laughs> <laughs> It was a lot of flies. I know. Oh, my God. I didn't <laughs> want to say it. I love you so much. <laughs> we'll be back. But you're not used to eating outside there, are you? You no, usually don't eat outside. Eat outside. Well, yeah, well, but, like, they got to do something about that. Like, there's nothing they, they can do about controlling flies outside. There's nothing they can do about How can you control how many flies? Can't you get some of those light things? In the daytime? Yeah. Nobody so wants to be overtake eating. You want to be overtaken with smells of cannella. But like in the daytime, burning. in the daytime, you can spray that stuff that's like I like agree. a guard, like air guard that's gonna guard you against mosquitoes and flies and stuff. But that's the same stuff gonna land on your food. Don't nobody want No, that. do it before everybody get there. You do it in the morning. I'm only saying that because it wasn't enjoyable. And Salima I, said she'll be there. Okay, yay, yay. I, it wasn't enjoyable. It, it was too many flies. But I love you, Forty Fifth Street. Selena, we will let you know where we are next Thursday. Next yes, Thursday. for the party. We, yeah, for the party. Um, hey, Tim, I see you joined. Thank you for joining. Hey, Tim. But, yeah, we're going to come up. If we don't have it at the one spot that we're thinking about having it, maybe we can find a place that will allow us to just sit outside and record. And can we just talk about how we didn't like the outside thing? But we might find somewhere else. Without flies. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give her the side eye. I'm sorry, but you know how much we love that place, and we do love our fans there. But it was just, too, it was just. I think y'all gonna encounter that pretty much anywhere y'all go. Yes. Mm-hmm. No matter where we go, it's gonna happen. If not, I might have to have a select few come to my house 
And yes, Salima, you can come. And we'll we can have some that. in the yard. Oh, yeah, we could have done it in the yard. Get a table? Yeah. Might be in the yard here. So yeah. You know. Got enough chairs. Got a food table. I just, I just don't want to eat out nowhere where it's flies. I'm sorry. Because you spray in the yard. I do. I do. Y'all so. should do a suddenly single meet and greet for three couples, six people. That's it. It's a big, big enough yard for six people to separate we comfortably. Yeah. They, exactly. You go through the process between the whole month of August, okay. the first week Doing of September, September, or September when fall come in. Y'all gonna treat to the dinner. Y'all both cooks. Y'all gonna cook home or provide the food. We'll provide. I'll provide it. I'll take care of it. But y'all should do that to launch suddenly single. People that watch the show, viewers, you'll be able to. Somebody meal. would do it for some hoagie salad. Hoagie salad, make a gourmet meal. With yep, hoagie there you go. There you go. There you yeah, go. And y'all be true. able to scan the viewers because these will be listeners. It might be Troy. You never know. Troy may be married now. I don't know. Him. Well, y'all don't know him, but you don't know if he's single either. He looking at suddenly single. He might not be married. Is he married? And I'm sure if he was married, he's going to be. Say, I have chairs and we'll travel. There you go. <laughs> well, wait, See? This, is a, this is a meeting offline. Not going to give out all that information for sure. We, we got two things going on. We got the birthday offline and also we're trying to um, do the do meet something. and greet. Are y'all going to provide them with more details when the yes. birthday comes? Yes. Oh. Yeah, for the, when the birthday coming, we're also talking. Now you we're going to do select people on the birthday party. Like, everybody can't come. I'm sorry, y'all. I love y'all to death. Well, would people, love I'm to, sure everybody they understand to that. come. But because of social distancing rules, we got to be careful. But we're also talking about um, having a meet and greet for some possible couples. So. I would, I would like people. to do 11 men and 10 women. The only reason I'm saying 11 men because I'm saying... <laughs> I, I would get up and get in the camera and just look at it, but I don't feel like me. <laughs> but you got first choice. <laughs> <She's>... <laughs> Listen. <laughs> These dating apps is crazy, so why not try face to face? Well, we'll see, sunshine, because I think it's a couple brothers that's trying to claim you, so <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah, oh, you're not, you're not getting us in trouble. And we are not going to have 14 men and 10 women. And so. no fighting, so no, sunshine may not be part fighting. of that process. We ain't going to discuss <laughs> that fight. All right. We we'll have see. to remind them that we are our own security. We do not call the police. No, but I mean that by is is somebody who already thinks that she belongs to them. So I don't think that she should be in the whole dating. Yes, I should. No. Okay. I'll be, I'm gonna read another quote to her so she can understand <laughs> and get where my mind and my thought quote. process is right now with the person that wants to claim sunshine. Damn. Brother, yeah. I was trying to help y'all. <laughs> what, what did I do with the quote? One second. See, Give me a second. Somebody threw it for a loop. No, yeah, uh, <laughs> we about to pull this up so that she can understand. Oh, did I don't see our picture here on where we going. What? We're going. We're on Facebook. Nobody is busier yes, than a person I'm who's not at y'all interested on in you. I'm looking at y'all on Facebook. If we ain't looking on ourselves, we gonna disappear. <laughs> and he should oh, be happy yeah, to y'all know. Oh, disappear. What happened to the camera? He should be happy to know that we made it to our whole full freaking hour because he wanted us to. Yes. Thank you, thank you. And the right. reason the camera came out was my fault, I guess. Because he kicked, he probably I didn't kick the me. camera. When he got up to do his messing around with Mary. Yep. Yeah, that's, yep. right. that's probably what happened. Yep. All right, so everybody, thank you all we didn't for have listening. Cocoa. All right, where our theme music at? Waiting for y'all. Y'all got to do is hit the button. It'll come oh, on. Hit the button. Okay, hit the button. All right, we can't. Smooches, hubba hubba. Hubba hubba. Love you all. Thank you all for listening. <laughs> that's, that's what they hear. Don't pay attention to the silence. That's what they hear. Don't pay attention to our picture down here. Y'all are on camera. No, it's not. I don't know no, what happened here. Alright, let me end this.